Hi, my name is John Trust and you're on the Solvers channel for Hitachi Cooling and Heating Professionals. Welcome. We are getting a lot of questions at our lab and we would like to help you all. At Johnson Control Hitachi, we follow the zero harm policy for a safe, comfortable and sustainable world. You can contact Hitachi for further information. In today's video, we are going to check the inverter circuit of a Hitachi Sigma VRF system. We probably need to check the circuit because our unit has displayed error code 0451 or 53. To do this, we will need gloves, goggles, multimeter screwdrivers and spanners. The components for the inverter circuit that we need to examine to fix these errors are as follows. Inverter printer circuit, board and the compressor. When an error code 04 is displayed on a Sigma VRF unit, it means that communication between the inverter PCB and the outer unit PCB has failed. This may be because the inverter PCB is fully, the inverter PCB is not work receiving any power or there is a bad connection in the wiring. If this happens, the PCB will probably have to be replaced, but make sure by calling technical support. If error code 51 is displayed, this indicates a fault in the inverter current sensor. But if the error code is 53, this indicates an error in the inverter signal. The cause of these errors may be a full inverter PCB. To confirm that this is the cause, we must eliminate the possibility that the compressor is damaged. In order to do this, we will measure the resistance of the compressor windings to check the status of the compressor. Once we know the compressor is not a problem, we will check the inverter PCB. We must check the output voltage of the inverter PCB. If it is correct, the cause is damaged to the inverter PCB. To check this, we will disconnect the compressor from the PCB, turn on the number one switch of the DSW101 on the inverter PCB, and start the unit. And use the multimeter to check the output voltage of the PCBs if they are uniform. If the values are uniform, this means that the compressor is okay, but there is a mechanical problem. You must change the compressor. If the values are not uniform, the problem is electrical. You must change the PCB. Now we can connect the power and restart operation. If the alarm code appears again, we can be sure that the inverter PCB is faulty. If the error code does not appear, the compressor winding should be checked as described above. Anyhow, you will have to call technical support in these cases. But if you run these tests beforehand, you will save time and money as they need to be done to identify the cause of this error in the unit. I hope this video was useful to you and you were able to solve the problem. You know, you can always visit our YouTube channel for any others and incidents. And let me remind you that our call center is always there for you for any further questions you may have. Cheers to all fellow installers and remember, be professional and enjoy your work.